Tulsi Gabbard, Queen of the Tulsells, um, is going to talk about why she believes the separation of church and state is bad, I guess. It's ironic to me that God, uh, someone you can trust, is who is being run out of society. What the hell did you just say? I shouldn't have to remind them of this, but God is not real. There is as much evidence for God as there is evidence for the Tooth Fairy and Santa Claus. With that being said, you can believe whatever the fuck you want, but that doesn't mean that you have a right to push your religion on everyone else. As the famous trope goes, you know, it's okay if you have a penis, but you don't get to take it out and flop it around in front of people in public. Let's treat religion the same way, okay? Don't talk about it in public. Keep that shit to yourself and talk to your ceiling on your own time. Don't push that shit down my throat because I don't want to hear it. I'm not part of your dumbass little book club. I am an atheist. I'm an anti-theist to be exact. And I don't fuck with religion. In many of our founding documents, separation of church and state found nowhere in our founding documents. Um All you have to do is look at the fucking First Amendment, dum dum. It says that gover government shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion. Okay? That's where it is. You can choose to disagree with it, but that is a fact. But Jesus told me I have to tell everyone about him. Yeah, that's true, James. That's true. That's why they won't shut the fuck up about it. It's so annoying. And also, they believe that if you, um, if you can, like, convince someone to accept Jesus, then that's, like, the biggest the biggest dub, right? Like your your mansion in heaven is gonna get like an extra bedroom for each soul that you save. So yeah. Or it's been utilized to create a religion of secularism. Do you think it's doing damage, the fact that we are erasing broadly God out of a society in a way perhaps our founders never intended? There's no question about it, Kaylee. You see this erosion of this spiritual foundation of our country uh, as a direct consequence of those who are trying to erase God from, from just about every facet of our public lives. This is one of the main reasons why I chose to leave the Democratic Party because I saw in- Tulsi, you're not even a fucking Christian. She's not a Christian! Like, you want evangelicals to enforce their religion through government on all of us when you literally aren't even a Christian? Yeah, she's Hindu, right? She was calling everyone who questioned her ties to Modi, which do exist, like Hindu phobic during the 2020 election. And now you're sitting here like saying, no, evangelicals are right actually to push their religion on everyone. Like, yeah, this is Christo fascist BS. Like they feel entitled to push their religion on everyone. And Tulsi's going along with it. Yes, as a Hindu, actually, I do think Christians should be able to dictate what all of us believe. That's that's really smart, Tulsi. Really smart how not only were they trying to erase God from uh, or, or any mention of God or uh, you know attacking people of faith. That should be the case. We should erase God from all public settings. I, I mean, yeah, that's that's what we should do. Absolutely. That's based. People of spirituality, especially Christians, you see these attacks and you see the consequences yeah. in the direction, unfortunately, that much of our, our country it's is headed in and the damage it's causing to families, to children, so to true. our communities, um, to, to our policymakers, many of whom think that they are God and are trying mm -hmm. to control us in every possible way. It's so true. Tulsi, so much wisdom from you always. Have a great St. Patrick's Thank you Day. So it's it's agree. astonishing to me that they actually think they're having like a substantive conversation, or at least they're pretending to have a substantive conversation. So true. Tulsi, as you are basically legitimizing this theocratic message of, yes, God should be in public settings, in government, you're saying, oh, well, they want to control us. No, you want to control us, okay? The evangelicals are the ones who want to control everyone. That's why they're literally trying to ban fucking trans people out of existence, ban, you know, uh, all types of things in the classroom. It, it just, it's, it's exhausting, right? Because Tulsi knows this. Oh, I had to leave the Democratic Party because they want to erase God. Motherfucker, this has been like what the Republican evangelicals have said about Democrats for decades. But all of a sudden you're like, hmm, they want to erase God. This is sus to me. Shut up, Tulsi. Like literally nothing about her is authentic. I think that she just doesn't have a political ideology. It's just 
wherever the wind is blowing, whatever can help me boost my name recognition. And it's just sad. Yeah, she's a boot-looking cuck, and she's terrible. People shouldn't control people. People who believe in God should control people. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I hate these people so much. So fucking fake. So fake.